Hi, welcome to Coffee at Exo. I'm David McLennan. I'm the owner here of Exo Espresso Bar. This video series, we're going to be interviewing entrepreneurs here in Miami. More big businesses coming in and really changing the city. Work for yourself, work hard, and do the right thing. Just about like having that resilience, having that stamina. What are you giving to people that people see value in? We're going to be asking them all the questions, the good, the bad, and everything in between. When uh, life gives you lemons, you, well, I didn't quite make lemonade, I made juice instead. You take any little setbacks that you get, and you have to learn from them, right? We have decades and decades of propaganda. We saw the movement evolve. We found that it helped a lot of people. That's a great point. One of the ways we deal uh, with the misconceptions is obviously through the information. So if you want to learn a little bit about being an entrepreneur here in Miami, stick with us. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down below. Without further ado, let's get stuck in. Hello and welcome to the fifth episode here of Coffee at XO. Today we have the pleasure of one of Miami's finest artists, Nicole Cure, the owner of uh, Cure Art Studio here in Miami. Welcome to the fifth episode. Thank you so much for inviting me. Happy to be here. Pleasure to have you here. So let's get started by um, you telling us a little bit about Cure Art Studio and right. yourself. Okay, so my name is Nicole Cure. I'm the owner of Cure Art Studio. Uh, my business practice, which is my art practice as well. Um, I was born in Colombia, moved here in the 2000s, and I've been painting all my life. I, I grew up in a very artistic family, so that art has been in my DNA forever. And I just, you know, like to communicate and express myself through my art, and this is what I do. I'm happy to be a, an artist. Right, and I know you've got like a latest collection. Um, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Yes, but before we go any further, we obviously need a couple of drinks. Of course. And I know that you love matcha. I do. I'm obsessed with matcha. <laughs> I and really like it. We're going to talk a little bit about a little bit later on about why you drink matcha all the time. But mm -hmm. for now, let's get a matcha with almond milk. Is yes, that, yeah? please. Matcha with almond milk. I'm going to do. We've actually got a really new um, blend that we've come up with. Our first blend. Okay. It's called the Icon, Ooh. and it's going to be rolling out at both of our locations, one of them being the Icon. And we roasted it two days ago, so I'm going to give it a try. Nice. Uh, one espresso Thank you. Icon. Awesome. awesome. All right, well, so let's get started. So we've got this beautiful piece of art here that you've Thank done. You. And there's a big story behind this. This is uh, your new collection, right? Yes. Which Colors of Sound. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit more about it. Okay. And I brought you this one. It's called um, Victorious. And it just means uh, it has a very special meaning to me. In 2017, I lost my hearing um, unilateral, meaning that on my right side one day it woke up and I was deaf in one ear. And of course, after that, I became you know, um, you know, know, knowledgeable about so many other things that came with it. And I was diagnosed with Meniere's disease, which is a condition with uh, problems in the inner ear with causes um, imbalance, dizziness, a lot of problems with stability. So, of course, during that time, um, I was anxious and depressed going through this. Um, obviously, didn't know what was going on with my body, what was happening in here that could cause that. And this was my therapy, going back to my studio, painting, and trying to communicate and be open about it. Um, because invisible disabilities, like the hearing, loss, obviously you cannot see a person is going sure. through something like that. Sure. So one day I went back to the studio and the whole concept of the colors of sound is that um, I try to explore sound and silence um, with my story and, and analyze sound frequencies and how they travel in the air and it's this way it's a, it's a way for me to communicate and say what's going on with my body and with many other people who are going through the same it's condition. So, it's so true. I mean. Uh we all know that in this day and age, you know, you don't, you might look healthy, but it doesn't necessarily mean you haven't got something going on. And I think what you're doing is a, is a fantastic thing. Thank um, you. This is a beautiful piece of artwork. And can you tell me a little bit about, like, so when you paint this, what do different things mean in the picture? Can you tell me a little bit about that? So, yes. Um, and like I said, this one is called Victorious. I try to title all of them. Um, well, I, I was going through my process of recovery. At the beginning, it was very uh, challenging to hear sound because I had a condition called hyperacusis where you cannot be exposed to sound. So I wanted to, from something dark, create something beautiful. And not only create something, but be able to communicate, talk about it, so that people that were going through these also feel related yeah. and 
connect with people because I feel like you're very isolated and connection is just such an important thing with everything that we do in our lives. It's amazing and, and, and it's, it's beautiful to look at. Um, I think you're doing a great Thank thing. You. Now, let's talk a little bit about... Got our matcha on our coffee. Yeah, we've got it with Cheers. Cheers. I just want to cheers. Cheers, mate. Well, again, thank you for being here. All right. Here. No, no, pleasure. So, let's talk a little bit about our business names. Now, I yes. think when we both, like for us, we did XO Espresso Bar and we actually did the XO part is kind of related more to... Um, in a lot of the uh, liquor world, the premium brand is right. the XO. And so Cognac, XO Patron, etc. So we went with that. And then as we started to do events with weddings, we realized that the XO with the whole hugs and kisses of kind course. of tied in it. So it had this other meaning, which is totally fine. And, and we love that. Now, I know you've had a similar thing with your yes, business. Um, tell us a little bit of how that all So my tied. last name is Cure. Um, so appropriate, right? Because now I, um, the whole purpose of this collection is raising awareness about hearing health, hearing conditions, and invisible disability. So the cure ties into that. So people think sometimes that I <laughs> name my business right after I went through this health issue, yeah. but it's actually my last name. So it's I'm happy to be able to connect it in a way and, and just give it a positive meaning. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Well, you know, I think also um, having you here today, first artist we've had on, on Coffee at XO, which yeah. is really exciting. And I think that when I think about your business and I think about the similarities, yes. I think about intangibles, right? Nice. So I think about things that they're not necessarily measured in numbers or things on paper. They're these certain uh, je ne sais quoi or undescribable, oh, right? Um, so for us, I know like uh, we do a little bit of artwork with our coffee yes. and, and, the, and the baristas have their own styles. They're artists. They, they do. Well, they get to yeah. kind of transfer a little bit of that into of their course. cup. And then also at the till with the service, you know, there's a certain undescribable. We like to... Um, really get the staff to give a little bit of themselves to the customers sure. and, and connect. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the intangibles in your business. Of course, um, art is about connection and communicating. I always think that as, as artists, we have this role in society to communicate what's happening around us, um, inside of us or to the people that we love or strangers because we sometimes art connects those strangers. And I feel we have that similarity because yeah. we're in this business um, because we want to connect. We want to connect with other people, know their stories, what's happening to them, try to express that and, and relate to what they're going through. So with yeah. my collection, that's what I'm trying to do too. So it's all about connection. You know what, Nicole? We, we need to do something for our... I was just thinking about this when we were talking, okay. but we need to do something for our Basil. We need to somehow connect these oh, two. Sure. I think we could do something really great. But anyway, that's... No, that's something. Always story. entrepreneurs are always thinking, <laughs> of right? We're thinking about oh, ideas. Well, we, 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 right now, have five ideas. <laughs> exactly. So, anyways, moving on to like before we talked about um, why you always order matcha, right? Mm -hmm. So, one of the important things um, being an entrepreneur is trying to stay healthy, right? Because there's no point yeah. in having a business if you're, if you're not, not healthy. healthy. Mm -hmm. I struggle with it. I'm trying to find the balance. Yes. Um, it's it's not easy. Um, tell me a little bit about why matcha and the health aspect. Well, you're not alone in that department. I also struggle with, you know, getting enough rest, getting the exercise in there because it's so important so that we can function. Um, so when I um, started getting sick and going through all this process, um, you know, it was very important to me to get back to a healthier state. And of course, matcha has different meanings um, to me. First, because I want to start the morning with a little bit of energy and be grateful and start with uh, yoga practice or meditation. I know it sounds sometimes fancy or that you don't have the time to do it, yeah. but I feel it's very important to have kind of like a right uh, mini ceremony for yourself. Yeah. And matcha is ceremonial. I know that you have the ceremonial grade, grade matcha. Grade. Ceremonial, exactly. Yeah. So I try to give that time to myself since I'm so busy in the day like you are. Um, start the day with something I love, um, feel blessed because of you know what I have, and then the yoga, the matcha, and a little bit of meditation comes in. So I recommend that you know meditation is key, just because we have a pause, like we yep. just can't plan the day and have a minute for ourselves. So. And it's and it's one of the reasons, like we have a wellness category yeah. on our uh, on our menu, and one of the reasons we do that is because we know not not everyone can yeah. drink coffee it doesn't work for everyone so that's why we have things like the matcha and the turmeric because we want everyone to feel like they can come to our business and they can have something that's going to be part of their ceremony for the day healthy they, and, and and delicious because so, that's that's yeah. what a cafe to me it's not just coffee it no. is coffee but it's not just it's a ceremony for a lot of people isn't it exactly and the ceremony includes, the day right. absolutely it includes having a good product that suits 
what you need in your day. And it also is about having an experience that sometimes is more than that, where you talk to the barista yeah. and you know what, it makes your day. You go out the door feeling like, you know what, I'm feeling good and I'm ready to get my day started. So I, I like that. A that, little that talking works. to, you know, appreciate yourself and your hard work. Yeah, so. for sure. Well, we've just talked about, you know, obviously um, looking after ourselves, our own health or our family's health, uh, being an entrepreneur, but also, um, you know, we've had what's recently just gone on in the Amazon and, you know, global warming, et cetera, et cetera. We have, uh, I believe, an obligation to try and bring in some of those practices that are going to help um, sustain uh, the social, social and environmental impact. Tell me a little bit about what your views are on that. I think it's very important, not only as we have a responsibility of being healthy, obviously ourselves, for our families, for our communities, but I feel as businesses, we have to think about that too. And I, I do know that you practice um, social responsibility and environmentally friendly techniques. So I would, why don't you tell us more about yeah, that? Yeah, so I mean, we are always trying to do new things that are going to help with that. We have the coffee roaster, which happens to be... Um, uh, electric, so that's great. Zero emissions, so that's one of the ways. That's uh, in terms of the environment, we also have our bamboo uh, spoons, spoons that we have. Nice. We have um, ways where if you bring a cup back, you get money back. We have coffee jars, so we do a paper few things. Paper straws, like paper straws, lots help. of little details like that that we're trying to, and we're always trying to bring in more. Of course. Um, but then also there's a social impact. So with the bellwether now. We have the ability to do what's called tip the farmer. Oh, nice! Okay. Now, tip the farmer is going to be where we have a separate iPad, okay, and people can actually tip directly to the farm if they enjoy oh, the that's coffee. That's fantastic. So, one of the issues we have in the industry, in the coffee industry, is that the coffee farmers are not getting any of that money trickling of down. Of course them. not. Yeah. We could pay more for the coffee beans on our end, but it still wouldn't help the process because there's so many people in between. Oh, that's so what so nice. Tip the Farmer is going to do is going to enable us to, like a basketball, drop over the top of everyone okay. and put every single cent that someone tips on that iPad back, to that. back into the farmers. So that's one of the things in terms of a social impact, which is going to help the coffee industry that well, we're working on. Well, thank you for thinking of that because I know it will go back to the yeah, farms well, in Colombia too. It, we're happy exactly. for that, yeah. The farm that one of the farms we're working on is in Colombia. So nice. um, I think it's a great thing. Um, we're still trying to perfect it, but it's definitely something we're working on. And I think that's the most important thing as an entrepreneur. It is hard sometimes because yeah, some of those of things that you choose to do can sometimes be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Right. And but, the, but the people need to know that that it, it comes with a price, but you're helping, you're, you're giving back. To help, so. You know, and and that's the big thing. We're trying to trying to do what we can as a small business. Um, I think. Also, some of the bigger businesses out there need to really focus on that too because they leave from the front. Of course. But we try to do our part. And so, um, yeah. Well, and no, now it's... I like EXO even more. <laughs> so thank you for awesome. sharing that story. No, no, That's no, definitely. Nice. Well, we talked a little bit about, you know, like what we try to do, you know, to try and help um, the environment and the social impact. But I know for you as a business, social impact is a huge part of your business. It is. Tell me a little bit about how you make an impact socially. Of course, so uh, we're all trying to help and give back. And um, I am trying through the colors of sound to not only create awareness, but give back to organizations that are fighting, you know, and are trying to really get this word out there. Um, and it's, uh, I work with two organizations, um, the Hearing Health Foundation and um, VIDA, which is vestibular, which means that you have problems with your inner ear, uh, dizziness, balance. So what I do through um, this collection is trying first to educate the public that the, these organizations are there to help them. Yep. Um, also give a little bit of hope yep. because I know it could get dark in these times so of you don't see the end uh, of this progressive illness. And then I wanted to take something dark that happened in a period of time and just create a little, you know, sunshine positive. and positive um, yeah. vibe so that people think, okay, there's there's hope and we can actually give back if we're going through the process of getting healthier. So it's a, it's huge for me. It's yeah. important. The same way environmental issues are huge, you know, for the two of us. But this is the way I contribute. I give back because also there were so many people along the way that I met through social media that helped me through this process. Yep. And I want to be able to be there for them and for these organizations. Absolutely. It's important to laugh, right? Of we course, have to laugh. Yeah. We have to laugh. I have something I want to present to you today. Okay, we you. have our aprons, which we actually have oh, some artists nice. come in. 
So I would love to present that to you. Thank you. I hope you can use this it is, maybe when you're doing your I beautiful I will be artwork. using this in my practice, in my studio. Fantastic. So thank you for this, it's beautiful. And also, being from Colombia, it would be wrong for us not to present oh. you with a single origin. Uh, we just roasted this a couple of days ago on the Bellwether. Um, thank you. Thank so you, you so go. much. All right, we, you're welcome. I'm going to appreciate this, you know. Thank you so much on this. I'll be sending you pictures from my studio. Awesome, <laughs> with awesome. This. Thank you. Well, um, we appreciate you being here today. Next, we're going to get into um, our quick shots. Okay. So, little quick fire questions. All right. <laughs> um, so, let's take a little break and then we'll come back and do it. Okay. Pleasure having you here. Thank you so much. Before we do quick shots, uh, you've, okay. we've, you've, we've got this going on here. What do we, what do we got going on here? So um, this is we're talking about matcha, right? So I used a little matcha and paint to create this backdrop, and yeah. I wanted you and I to paint and just pick your favorite color. What me? Color says a lot of things <laughs> about our personality, well, and give it the the final touches because right. we're getting close to the final. All but right. So I'm gonna pick. Let me see. What what am I feeling this morning? Exactly. I'm feeling quite vibrant i'm gonna go for orange awesome that's one of my favorite colors right. orange and purple so, so just give it the final touch of the creation right. let me let me see i gotta feel this right i gotta yes. get, get in the zone all right let me put a little uh a little shade down the side sure. here. Okay. and they're complementary colors just green and side, like that. orange Oh, I like this. I could keep doing this for a while. All right. Relaxing, right? It's Art therapy. It is. It really is, actually. I need <laughs> to do more of this. But um, okay, just put that a little bit there. Let's put this down. All right. Okay. Let's do quick shots. Okay. All right. Ready. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right. First question: Jon Snow or Mother of Dragons? Uh, hard question. Uh, I was going to say Mother of Dragons, but at the end I didn't like her too much, so Jon Snow. Jon Snow, okay, good, yeah. good. Um, Labrador or Golden Retrievers? Labrador. I had a lab, a black lab. His name was Jack, and he's always in my heart, ah, so labs. Nice, <laughs> nice. okay, perfect. Uh, matcha latte or matcha tonic? Matcha latte. Matcha latte? Yeah, okay. yeah. Perfect. Have you had a matcha tonic? I think I did, but maybe I have to try it again. Let, let, maybe let, at an event I on. did, so we'll do that. Maybe okay. we can swing you to a okay, matcha tonic. Okay. Maybe All I have right. to switch, right? I think I know the answer to this one already, because okay. bet, let's try it anyway. Almond milk or coconut? Almond. Love almonds. I think we, we, we know that one already. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wynwood or South Beach Art Deco? Wynwood, 100%. I yeah. mean, I love South Beach Art Deco, but... Wynwood is the vibe, the art, yeah. you know? Love it, love yeah. it. All right. Bass or Perez Museum? Mm, wow. Is that a Difficult because they have different collections, but the view at Palm, you can't beat that. So I love the collection and having lunch there and the view. So Palm. Okay, <laughs> yeah. perfect, perfect. He would be jealous. <laughs> What is this underneath? What I is that? I, I need an extra commentary book. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what the like, what is this? He would be jealous. What I'm like, is who is jealous? I'm turning into uh, one of those divas. It's like, what's this? What is this? <laughs> All Production. Right. All right. So we're going to rewind. Okay. Next one. Picasso or Monet? I love them a lot, but I'm going to say Salvador Dali. Salvador oh, Dali, I'm gonna, a huge gonna, fan. Gonna, I'm going to deviate I from like that it. just like I Dali. Like he it. would always go with you a look, different you, answer. You don't have to choose one or the other. You can totally <laughs> want to be a rebel. <laughs> All right. Yoga or Pilates? Yoga. Yoga. Of course, breathing, breathing exercises. You do it every morning, right? I do it every morning. Very Even good. if it's 10 minutes, I get that in. Very nice. For the Very nice. start of the day. Oil paint or water? Or water. Watercolor? Yeah. Okay, I think I would go with water-based water paints. Based. Yeah, acrylic, watercolor. It's better for the environment. And we were talking ah, about that. No okay. oil. So we're gonna okay. go with watercolors. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Bob Dylan or Luminaires? 
Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Oh my gosh, is... I love him. Yeah. Love everything about him. <laughs> All right, awesome. Japanese or Indian food? Well, that's tough, but I think Japanese. Japanese. Get a lot nice. of that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, got any favorite Japanese restaurants here in Miami? Too many to to name. To I don't want to, you know, upset anybody. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, but yeah, I do yeah. love them. You, go, you don't want to go and frequent one. No, of like, you no, didn't yeah. Them, so. I want to all think totally that I love it. them. <laughs> got totally get it. Yeah. Well, Nicole, it has been an absolute pleasure having you here today. The pleasure is mine. Thank you so much look for inviting to, me. Well, well, I'm sure we'll see you again. Had a blast. We Thank have you. to have you back. Do oh, some more artwork. Of course, anytime. Thank I need you. to get stuck into finishing this yes, off. I have to finish this one here. for you. Uh -huh. Well, thank you very awesome. much. Thank we'll you. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you.